What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about a new way to make clear eyes at all. For years I've been a big advocate of the good old directional freezing method using the insulated container and I still believe it is a great way to do it but it has its flaws. A lot of people complain it takes too much space in the freezer or it's too much of a hassle to cut down that big block of ice into smaller pieces. Or even worse yet, it's super frustrating because it's not consistent. Even using the exact same technique every time sometimes you can end up with a block of ice filled up with ugly bubbles. I've been there as well, I know it sucks. So if that's the way you feel about making clear eyes at home but still can't live without it, forget all what I said before about this technique and watch this video, I'm sure you're gonna love it. So my friends, without further ado, let's make clear eyes at home for real this time, like a pro. Let's go! All right, so all of us making clear eyes at home were legit using the exact same technique. The directional freezing method using an insulated container without a lid. That way the cold arrives only from top, freezing your water from top to bottom, pushing the air bubbles and sediments toward the bottom of your tank, leaving you most of the time with a pretty decent clear ice block that you can cut into smaller pieces for beautiful cocktails on the rocks. It became really popular in the cocktail world within the past few years, so much so that a lot of companies started to make some molds with inserts of already pre-shaped cubes, spears and spheres and they make a great job. But still, it's not perfect. The only reason to that is because we're still freezing our water from top to bottom. And even though we're pushing those bubbles and sediments toward the bottom of your tank, at one point it will get trapped some way and it will make some cloudy bits into your eyes. The only way we can avoid that is to flip that around, freezing your water from bottom up. Unfortunately, this technology is not available for home bartenders. Well, that was just until now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my new friend, Claris. But now, before we go any further in this video, my friends, I would like to be completely clear with you. First of all, I didn't pay for my Claris. Second, even worst, if you want to buy one for yourself and use my promo code, you're going to get 10% off your unit, but I'm also going to get a small commission. That being said, it is not a sponsored video. I can do and say whatever I want with my machine. The company doesn't get to watch this before it goes live. So believe me, this is completely 100% my honest opinion. Also, this machine is not cheap, so it wouldn't be in my interest to push you something I don't fully enjoy and trust if I still want you to like me and watch my videos. So now that this is out of the way, let's talk about how this thing makes beautiful eyes, actually surpasses everything I've ever tried before. First of all, if you ever went to a bar or a restaurant that serves cocktails with perfect eyes, and by that I don't just mean perfectly clear, I also mean perfectly shaped, cubes and spears with sharp edges, well this ice usually comes from a company who owns a Klein Bell ice machine. This thing is a monster. It makes clear ice blocks of 300 pounds, it takes usually 3 to 4 days to make only one block, and the block is so big it usually takes a solid to cutting down in smaller pieces, hence the perfect cubes and spears. It also uses the technology I was talking before. It freezes the water from bottom up with an air circulator breaking down the air bubbles, making sure to have a 100% pure clear ice block. Unfortunately, aside the fact that this thing is a beast and it takes way too much space for home usage, it's also pretty expensive. It usually retails at $5,500, but the Claris uses the exact same technology, only with a smaller footprint and at a fraction of the cost. All you have to do to make a batch of clear ice with this machine is simply to take the tray out, then you're gonna make sure to have your separators well installed at the bottom of the tray, that's gonna help you a whole lot when it's gonna be the time to unmold the cubes, and then you're simply gonna fill the tray with tap water all the way up to the fill line. No more, no less. Then you simply place it in the machine, close it, press start, and wait. 
It takes about 10 hours for one cycle and it makes four blocks of clear ice of two inches by two inches. So that means you can run two cycles a day for a total of eight clear ice blocks. Once the cycle is over and the ice is ready, all you have to do is to open up the machine, take the tray out. I usually flip it around like this and then I simply push gently down to release the ice blocks. Most of the time, the separators will come with the blocks, but it's really easy to remove them. Since I received my machine, I ran about 10 batches and all of them came out perfect. No impurities, no bubbles, no nothing, just perfect, 100% pure, clear ice. So in terms of the quality of the ice, it's perfect, but there's a couple of things I would like to mention that I believe are important to know before you buy your unit, if it's your intention. First of all, this thing is not loud, but it makes a sound, so let's hear it. So as I said, it's not loud, it's not annoying, but it exists, so I think it's important to know. Then, this is not a drawback, but it's something I would like to mention. Maybe I should mention it more to the owner of the company rather than to you guys. But anyways, the tray to make the clear ice comes with separation, so there's nothing else you can do but making four cubes of ice. I think it would be fun in the future maybe to have the option of buying extra trays, like one without separations, one that makes spears, stuff like that. But right now, the machine comes with only one tray separate to make four identicals to buy two ice cubes. Now, in terms of footprint, this thing is no bigger than an espresso machine. If you look at mine, for example, in the background, it's actually bigger than the Claris, so I think it's great. I also love the design, black and stainless, modern lines. I love that. It looks awesome on the countertop. And lastly, as I told you, this machine is not cheap, but if you use my promo code, I'm gonna link it in the description below, you're gonna get 10% off your unit, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you prefer to use the good old directional freezing method using a camping cooler, watch this video, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about this technique. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go to turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon.